welcome. My name is Lori Sundberg and I have the honor of serving as president here at Carl Sandburg College. Thank you all for coming out today to celebrate our 50th anniversary. We're so happy to have all of you here to see our beautiful campus and all that the college has become in the last 50 years. As many of you know, we started with humble beginnings in locations downtown, and then some of you, like me, maybe attended classes in those first new trailers that we had, the first three. I can see people shaking their heads. Now from those very modest beginnings, the college has grown and transformed into what we see today. It's a beautiful campus that rivals really any private college campus in its layout and its beauty. It's been an amazing transformation and the realization of a dream by so many people along the way. I couldn't begin to thank all of the people who have helped Carl Sandburg College become what it is today. I know as a first generation college graduate myself, this Carl Sandburg College represents the incredible idea in the 1960s of bringing access of a college education to the masses. It was a radical idea because higher ed back then was just for a select few. Because of that dream, in 50 short years, thousands of people in our district and throughout the United States really have had access to higher education that wasn't available before. It is really stunning the change community colleges have had on the landscape of higher education. Since the college started, we've graduated almost 20,000 students and thousands and thousands of others who've transferred on before graduating. We've had others come only to upgrade their skills for a better job, and we have little kids for college on campus, and we have seniors who come for personal enrichment. Carl Sandburg College has truly become a community college in every sense of the word. I'm honored to serve as president during this very special time in our college's history. We have a board of trustees who is committed and has been committed for years. We have two trustees who have served in excess of 30 years. We have several others who have served more than 10 years. Trustees are not paid for their service. They serve for no other reason than because they're committed to the college. That I would say, ladies and gentlemen, is a huge commitment. I would like to recognize our trustees. We have some here tonight and others that were not able to be with us. Ms. Sandra Wood is our board chair. Mr. Bruce Lowerman. Mr. John Sibley Sr. Mr. Bill Robinson, Mr. Lee Johnson, and our wonderful student trustee, Sky Swearingen. We also have Mr. Tom Coglazier and Ms. Gayla Pacheco, and they unfortunately were not able to be part of any of the festivities today. In addition, we have an amazing group of faculty, staff, and administrators who truly put students first. Would all of the faculty, staff, and administrators who currently work for the college please stand up? Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. I stand before you today during the most challenging period of the college's life cycle as the most challenging time also in the state of Illinois. We are going on our second year with no state budget and a lack of funds has been critical. Funding for higher education in Illinois has taken a back seat. In 2008, the college received just under $6 million in funding. Last year, we received $407,000. It's just shy of a 100% decline in funding. Unlike the presidents who served before me, my tenure is not, has not been one of expansion and growth. For the first time in our college history, we are entering a period of contraction. As we continue to manage our way through the financial crisis, 
in Illinois' history, I can tell you that we will. And I can tell you that we will get through this. We might be a little leaner than we ever thought we could be, but we will emerge on the other side stronger for it. Carl Sandburg College will continue to be the mainstay it has become for the first two years of a baccalaureate degree, workforce training, along with providing dual credit opportunities for our K through 12 students, as well as personal enrichment for our seniors and everything in between. This small rural community college that you see before you has been recognized at the national level for 10 years, but the last four years is number one in the country for technology. We continue to outpace and outshine other similarly sized community colleges across the country. Our faculty are recognized as leaders in their respective fields. Our students continue to be recognized at the state and national level. We offer more career technical and health programs than most colleges our size, and our students succeed at levels outpacing national averages. Our persistence, retention, and graduation rates continue to, to go up in spite of the fiscal challenges we face. A recent student satisfaction survey revealed some of our strengths as identified by our students, that the students feel welcome here, they believe our faculty are knowledgeable and approachable, the personnel in various departments are helpful, the campus is well maintained, and most importantly, they feel safe here. While the college has achieved so much in so many years, we're not perfect. There's much we can improve upon, and there's more ways we can serve our district. I can tell you that regardless of funding, we care about our students, and I believe ultimately the students feel that. And the employees here believe in education. The notion of providing open education open access to higher education has never been stronger than it is today. I think I can safely say that all of us who work here at this wonderful college believe that a college education is truly the ticket to a better life. I continue to be inspired by the colleagues I get to work with and the students we serve. In my opinion, of course I'm biased, there's no better community college in the country. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. James Hutchings, the Sandburg Choir, for a special presentation of the college's school song. First, Curtis Simmons. 
Wow, what an amazing talent he is. I'm so glad we were able to share this enormously special day with him. Thank you also to the musicians who accompanied him. Steve Jackson, Oscar Diaz, Al Silver, and Stuart Bartlett. They have all made this day so special. Please join me in giving Curtis and all the musicians one more round of applause. I need to thank Eric Lieber, Jordan Lieber, and Boxcar Express for the food today. It was awesome. Give them a round of applause. Stevens, for all of you who attended the movie by the pond last night, Finding Dory, it was awesome. And so thank you to Jenny. I haven't seen her, but thanks, Jenny. A thank you to Steve Norton, Julie Gibb, Robin DeMont, Amy Jo Hawkins, Misty Lyon, Molly Craterfield, Jenny Stevens, and Stephanie Hilton. They were all the committee that made today happen. Give them a round of applause. Special thank you to my assistant, Lisa Zuko. I don't see where she is right now, but she also served on the committee, but she managed a myriad of other details to make today happen. A thank you to all of the faculty who came out today to show off their programs and be a part of our day. A thank you to Stephanie Hilton and our foundation board for their part in today. Thank you to Roads and Grounds, Maintenance, Public Safety for all of their efforts. As you can see from the thank you list, last evening and today just, just happened. As with any event here, lots of people make this go so smoothly and be such a wonderful deal. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone, because I'm sure I probably have, so I apologize in advance. Carl Sandburg College started as a dream by some local residents, but it's become even more than they could dream. It's become an economic force in the communities it serves. But at its core, it is still the same idea it was 50 years ago. It provides an open door to higher education and through that open door to a better life for our residents. Here's to another 50 years. I had an unexpected surprise this week by community member Ms. Andrea Vitale. She came back to Carl Sandburg College as an adult when she decided to re-enter the workforce after taking time off with her children. Her experience, like others, like mine, was a positive one, and she believed Sandburg was an important piece of her education. Andrea wants to give back to the college that was there for her when she wanted to go back to work. She felt the 50th celebration was an appropriate time to challenge the communities we serve to give back. Andrea first endowed a scholarship in her late husband, Guy Vitale's name, but she didn't stop there. She also gave us a check for $5,000 for our annual fund, and she will increase that to $10,000 if people in the community step up and we raise $100,000 over the next year an amount that I think is easily attainable. My husband Rick and I are honored to be the first ones to come forward and accept Andrea's challenge, and we too will give the foundation's annual fund $5,000. If you're interested, if you're interested in joining Andrea and giving back to the college, you can see Stephanie Hilton, who's up here, and please don't be intimidated by the size of our gifts. A gift of $5 is just as important as a gift of 5,000. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming and thank you for your support of Carl Singberg College. Please continue to enjoy the entertainment so graciously provided by Kurt Simmons and the wonderful meal prepared by Boxcar. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.